Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today, we have a great intro to VBA lesson that we're going to do for you. That's a lot of fun. What we're going to do is show you how to change the back color of the current cell that you are on inside of Microsoft Excel. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. So I've opened Excel up to a new blank workbook. And the first thing I want to do is go to File, Save As, hit the Browse button, and save this under Save As Type as an XLSM. If you read the description of that kind of file, it's an Excel macro enabled workbook because we want to be able to run a macro in this workbook. And then up here, I'm just going to name this Change Cell Back Color. And the extension on this will be .xlsm because that's what I've selected down here in my Save As Type. So I'm going to hit save and you can see that up here, XLSM. So what I would like to accomplish in here is every time I click a cell, I would like the background color of that cell to change to something besides white. So how do I go about doing that? Well, if I hit Alt F11 or on some keyboards, I may have to hit Alt Function F11, I will be brought here to the VBA window and I want to work with the worksheet itself. Not the whole workbook, but the worksheet. And I can see sheet one right here. So I'm going to double click that. And if I go up here where it says general, I'm going to select worksheet. And you can see by default, the selection change action has been picked. So let's work with that one because every time I change my selection, I want something to happen. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So I'm going to write two lines of code here. I'm going to write active cell dot select selection dot interior dot color. And for now, let's just say VB red. So if I alt tab back to Excel, you can see now when I click on a cell that they are turning red. So if I alt tab back to my code and I make this VB blue and I alt tab back to Excel, you can see that my active cell is now turning blue. However, this does not fully solve the problem because the old cell should go back to white and only the new cell should be blue. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to alt tab back to our code window and let's talk about how we can keep the value of the old cell and we can change that background to white. So up here, you see the phrase option explicit. I'm going to hit enter and let's declare a variable here. And let's declare it as a public variable. So what this means is that we're going to make a variable that will keep its value throughout the entire time that we're using our spreadsheet and not just when the routine is being run because we need to know what the last cell was. So we are going to declare that as public and let's just call it RNG old cell as range. So this variable right here, old cell is going to be the value of what we had as our previous cell. So I'm going to double click that and right click and go to copy. And now I'm going to put the value of this cell in a couple different places inside of our routine that we have made. So to begin with right here, I'm going to put an if statement. If this cell is nothing, which is the very first time we're running this routine, then we're going to set that variable equal to target. Now what is target? If you look up here, you can see that a target is coming in on this function and the target is the newly selected range, which in this case is just the new cell that we are selecting. And just keep in mind that the new cell we are selecting is going to become the old cell the next time we select a cell. And if the cell that's coming in 
is nothing, then we're going to just exit this subroutine. And then let's end this if statement. And let's copy this cell name again. And down here, let's set that cell dot interior dot pattern equals, and this is another variable called XL none. And then finally, we're going to set our RNG old cell equal to the target. So let's see how this works if we alt tab back to Excel. So now if I click around, I can see that the previous cell is turning back to the default in Excel and the new one is the only one that is turning blue. And I know this is a little confusing because of all of the other cells that are already formatted. So I'm going to highlight all of those right now. And my macro allowed all of those to change back to what it was by default. So now when I click, I can see that only my current cell has the color change going on. So hopefully that gives you a quick idea of how to change the color of the current cell that you're on and change the old cell color back to the default in Excel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.